What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. So I have a little unboxing video to do today. And I wanted to surprise you so I didn't open it from here yet. But as the title suggests, you already know what we're unboxing today. This is the Falcon Zero F360 rearview mirror dual lens dash cam. And I am excited to bring you this today. And I would like to give Falcon a big shout out and a thank you for providing me with this dash cam to review for you guys today. So if we open up the package, help if we do it the right direction. You're going to find the unit itself right here on top. We'll set it to the side for just a moment. See what else we get in here. Looks like we've got a uh, card. A USB to mini USB transfer cable. We've got what looks to be the power cable, which is a long USB. We have, oh, this is nice. They include a three USB cigarette adapter charging port for you. This is really nice, that's pretty cool. Um, we have some different mounting options here. Looks like we got a bunch of different uh, tabs and little uh, 3M adhesive paper right here. Go ahead and dump this out so we can see what we got here. Okay, I know what these are. These are for hiding your cable, for running them around your windshield. Um, personally, I tuck mine under the headliner and then down through the A pillar, the kick panels, and underneath the uh, dashboard. But you have pre-perforated 3M adhesive and clips right here to hold the wire in place. That's that's really cool. And as if all that isn't enough, they include a 32 gig SD card. I think that's pretty cool. So basically this is everything you need to get started. Of course, we've got our instruction manual right here. So let's move this out of the way, clear all this out. Let's take a look at the unit itself. Look at that. Now this is an interesting device and honestly at first I didn't really know what to what to make of it. It covers up your existing rear view mirror. Some people may not like that. Some people might love it. I think it's really cool because it doesn't really get in your way. It's not in your line of sight. You don't have something extra sticking to your windshield. Um, on the back side here you have tabs with rubber boots on them that will adjust independently to slide onto your rear view mirror and then on the front side you have multiple cameras all right and you can move these however you want that's what i think is really cool about this you can have one facing the road which is probably ideal for most of us and you can have one facing inside you can have both facing inside you can have both facing the road i mean it's it's whatever you want to do um turn them however you choose look at that i like it uh, as you can see both cameras have four infrared sensors for night visibility we have what appears to be a speaker here we have uh menu buttons up menu on off mode down so on the top we have your usb we have the power adapter port we have a reset button on the side here we have an hd port and we have your sd card slot on the other side there is nothing and on the bottom there is nothing all right guys so right here we have the falcon zero F360, and I'm going to do a review on this camera for you guys. I know that you're getting blinded here by the uh, 
infrared lights that uh, your eyes can't see, but apparently the camera can. Um, I want to point out, for any of you that are going to get this camera, um, the mode button has to be held to switch night vision on and off. See that? Just hold it. And you'll see at the top of the screen right here, it's got a moon, so you know it's in nighttime mode. Or a sun for daytime mode. I've got this thing temporarily wired into the car, so my wires are dangling. And that's not a professional look, and I would not recommend uh, keeping this hanging like this. What I like to do is run the wires up into your headliner. And then you run them around, down your A-pillar, down your dashboard, down. I know it's dark, but then you can run it around and keeps it nice and tidy uh, so that passengers don't have to look at a bunch of sloppy wiring. Let's get on the road and see what the nighttime footage looks like. All right, guys, so here's the actual footage of the F360. This is in night vision mode. If we turn night vision off, you can see how dark it gets. But we will turn it back on. You can adjust the camera more at the passenger. Or you can adjust it so that it is more focused on the entire vehicle so you can see more of what's going on. Let's go for a short test drive.
All right, guys, let's go do some daytime driving. See how this thing looks in the daylight. All right, guys, so that is the Falcon Zero F360. Um, I want to be fully transparent here, but first I want to thank Falcon, uh, honestly, for sending me the camera to do a review on. I truly appreciate that, um, and I really don't want to come off as bashing the camera. I'm absolutely not trying to, but I want full disclosure here. You know, I want everybody to know the pros and the cons about this device. Now, one of the biggest cons that I've had so far is this mode button for the infrared, the uh, night vision. I cannot remember to turn it on. I really can't. Maybe it's just me, but I'm sure there's other people out there that have used this. Uh, it may take some getting used to, to remember to hold this button at night to turn on night vision. Um, another big issue is the inability to adjust these cameras up and down and only being able to adjust them 180 degrees out. They really should have 360 degree rotation would be nice. And I mean, even if you gave 45 degrees of rotation top to bottom, that would be nice too. Um, there's just not enough adjustment available for these cameras. Um, the night vision does work, as you saw in the video. It, it works fairly well on the interior. Um, I think it could be a little bit better. But overall, hey, you know, this is not a $300 dash cam, okay? And I want to reiterate that this is not a top tier dash cam, but this is a damn good camera for the money. It really is. I'm very happy with it um, for the most part. Now, the other issue, the viewing angle on the lens, I believe, is 120 degrees. And, and honestly, that is not enough in my opinion. I would say 160 degrees at a minimum and preferably 180 degrees would be i think that would be perfect for these lenses um each lens to have 180 degree viewing angle to have at least 45 degrees of up and down adjustment as well as 360 degrees of adjustment all around because the issue that i have is when i get the mirror 
where I can see out the back of the car, the cameras don't line up to where I need them to be, and I can't get them to line up. You have to, I, I personally, in my Chevy Cruze and my Hyundai Elantra, I have to adjust the mirror to where it's, it's where I can't even see out the back anymore, just so the cameras will be facing where I need them to. And the interior cam and the outside cam, they don't show enough of the road, and the inside cam doesn't show enough of the interior, in my opinion. I would like to be able to see what's going on in the driver's seat, passenger seat, and the back seats. But, again, not trying to bash the camera. It is a damn good camera. Um, next issue that I had, which was kind of a big one for me, uh, for Chevy owners, Hyundai owners, Kia owners, anybody that has OnStar or Blue Link or has the uh, Chryslers have their... Uh, uh, what is it, home something, it's uh, the three buttons for your garage door opener on your rearview mirror. This thing covers all that up. Um, I lost, and I am subscribed to OnStar, so I do use the service. Um, once you put this camera on, now luckily, it, it just, it comes off fairly easily. It's not too difficult, but it's just constantly having to take it off, put it on, readjust your mirrors and everything, readjust your cameras. It can be a pain. Um, but when you have this on, you're going to lose access to your garage door openers. You're going to lose access to your OnStar. You're going to lose access to your Blue Link. So that could definitely be an issue for some of you guys. But otherwise, you know, the video quality is, is decent. It's it's not great, um, but it is decent. It does the job, does what it's supposed to do. Um, so I still will recommend this camera. I mean, if uh, if this looks like something you're interested in, absolutely go for it. It seems to be a good device, but... Um, keep in mind that opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. So this is just my review, my personal opinion. I still want to thank Falcon for sending it out. Greatly appreciate it, guys. Um, but maybe, you know, hopefully in the future, you could take some of my advice and we could, you know, do another review with an updated model that has some uh, additional features and abilities. I think that'd be great because I think this thing has a lot of potential. Just needs a few tweaks. All in all, good camera, very happy with it. Um, for those of you looking to spend about 150 bucks, highly recommend it. Comes with the SD card, everything you need, guys. It's ready to go out of the package. So I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope this helps you guys out. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Be safe out there and Uber on.